If you have really nice model photographs, then this section is perfect for you. This beautiful design showcases your products on a large model image while showing the products and linking in the image on the left. This makes it easier than ever for your shoppers to steal that look. My name is Nick and I'm the guy who gives you Shopify sections for free. In this video, I show you how I used AI to create the stunning section with lots of customizable options right out of the box. I also show you how to add this to your store via copy and pasting into your code directly. You can use this formula to create as many stunning sections as you would like. I utilize a tool called V0, which gives us HTML, CSS, Liquid, and JavaScript code that we can then use. If you don't know anything about these programming languages, don't worry, you don't need to. Just follow along and you'll have this stunning section in no time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment of what you would like to see me build next. Let's get started. Now the first thing I did is went to v0.dev and I used this favorite feature of mine to clone the screenshot. After I cloned the screenshot and it looked like a pretty good UI to me, I said, okay, this is great, but this code is in React. Can you give it to me in vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? This isn't going to be the final thing that I copy and paste into my Shopify code, but it's going to be one step closer and I can make sure that everything still looks good. Now at this point, everything looks pretty good, but I did want to make a follow-up suggestion that we cap the height because I didn't want this to take up the entire screen, but overall it's looking pretty good at this point. Also wanted to make sure it looks good on mobile. So if this looks good, I'm going to probably move on to my next step. Now the final step I usually take, once everything looks good to me, I ask it to make sure to give this code to me in Shopify liquid section uh, code. So this is going to be liquid file, and this is going to be able to be pasted directly into our theme. Now it's not going to give us a preview, so that's why I do this step last, so I can make sure everything looks okay, and I still may add a couple CSS tweaks of my own here or there, but more or less, this is going to give us a really good uh, output. So let's see what we get. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this code and I'm gonna put it into our theme here. So I'm gonna work off Dawn. If you want me to use like Horizon or one of the newer themes in my videos, just let me know in the comments. But what I have is this duplicated theme right here. So make sure that you duplicate whatever you have in production so you don't break anything. And then we're gonna come in here to this menu and we're gonna go to edit code. And then I'm gonna minimize all of these folders except for sections and I'm gonna click to add a new section. I'm gonna call this um, shop this model. I don't have a great name for this section. I just think it looks cool, but I don't really know what to call it. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to copy and paste from the link in the description, the GitHub link, and I'm going to paste this code. So you can see if I come all the way to the top, the first part we have is styles and I'm not going to talk about this too much, but just see that it is referencing some of our section schemas, uh, schema settings in here. After we scroll down, we see that we have our liquid code here, our HTML. So we do have some, again, settings here. Um, we're also using blocks, which is really cool. And I'll show you that in the customizer. And then if we keep scrolling down, we have our schema. This is all our settings right here. So we have the section settings. And then we also have these blocks right here that I mentioned. So uh, without digging too deep into this, I think it looks pretty good. Um, and just for like point of reference, if you're trying to copy and um, not copy this per section exactly per se, but maybe you're trying to follow these steps to build something of your own. I added about two lines of CSS here to get it to do what I wanted, just because I know CSS. So if you do know some of that code, it helps a lot. Otherwise, you know, you're kept uh, kind of asking the AI to tweak things for you, which also works. Um, but just because I have that knowledge, it's sometimes easier for me to just do it myself. Um, so I will save this, and now if I come to this three-dot menu, I will go to Customize Theme. All right, and then I'm just going to go here to Add Section, and I think it's called, if you ever want to know what the name of the section is called, if you come to the bottom of the schema, you see these presets, this name right here is what you will look for in the theme editor. So Fashion Showcase, and uh, right now it doesn't look like much, but that's because we need to add some images. So. I'm going to change the title to shop her look. And then if I scroll down, so these are all customizable settings. You'll see um, the one I care about here. I'm going to change that from shop woman to just shop. I will link this to whoops. I will link this to a collection. And then um, I'm going to come down here to the lifestyle image. I'm gonna add my model here. Okay, cool. So um, again, the idea being whatever your photo is here, hopefully they're wearing stuff that you're gonna then sell and you can have those right here. Um, so if you're thinking, well, where are these photos? This is where the blocks come in. So if I come out here, you'll see that we have three blocks by default that are added. So I can click in and I'm gonna add um, to each one, one of these images. 
and I'm not going to bother changing the text because I think you understand it. There's also a link here so I can link it to the exact product that I care about. So I will do that for all three images. Okay, cool. So you can kind of see the preview here. Um, I think this looks pretty, pretty cool actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna open the preview here. And if we're scrolling down to the bottom, I can see my new section right here. And on desktop, it looks pretty cool. Like I think this is more or less exactly what I wanted. You can play with the height, the CSS height for um, you know how big you want this section to be. I set it, I think it was like 500 or 600 pixels just because I didn't want it to take up the entire height of the page. And then if we look at it on mobile, uh, you will see that it still looks really cool. So this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I think this looks nice. I opted to keep these in a row on mobile because I just didn't want to take up too much space if it went vertically. So, um, you know, you can play with that if you would like. But overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think all the customizable options are pretty cool. So you can really play with this and, um, you know, I also thought about maybe making these products just links to the product themselves, but I kind of like the way it turned out with these blocks that you link to the product, but then you can give it a different name. Maybe you want to customize the name for this particular section or what have you. So anyways, I hope that you like this and you've learned something. If you want to see me make more sections uh, using AI, uh, please let me know in the comments. And especially if you have something, a design that you'd like to see uh, specifically, make sure to let me know. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.